Hi guys, I'm finally, finally back with another Beastiary series video, although I'm probably going to change the title of this series to like Folklore and Legend or something because I'm not really illustrating these in the style of a Beastiary page anymore and I'm mostly just drawing the creatures at this point in portrait style on the paper, so I don't really think I'm going to keep calling it Beastiary series. That was fitting when I was drawing them in the way that I would illustrate a bestiary book because that was my original idea was that I was gonna illustrate a bestiary book but I no longer want to do that so yeah do not be alarmed if the title of this is changed it is still the same series I promise I haven't given up on it yet I am just changing the name of the series so from now on it is going to be known as folklore and legend. I am also trying to get more into African folklore and legend because I do a lot of European folklore and legends surrounding fairies and brownies and everything like that and even some Greek like minotaurs and all stuff like that so I'm trying to get into more African folklore and legend so if you notice that change it's intentional. <laughs> Also, I know I haven't done a ton of Mental Health Monday videos, but I promise there's going to be some more coming in a little bit. And I'm still planning on finishing my Zodiac series. That's all in the works. None of them are going away. They're all still happening. So yeah, now that that's all out of the way, let's get into today's creature. I'd actually never heard of today's creature until today because usually when I do these I enjoy doing research to try to figure out more about the creature but now I'm doing research just to figure out which creature I'm going to do and I'm actually enjoying the process. So anyways, today I'm going to be illustrating the ads. The ads is a sort of vampiric creature that comes from the Ewe people of southern eastern Ghana and southern Togo. Ads usually appear as fireflies, but can take the shape of beetles, mosquitoes, or even just floating balls of light. This makes it easy for them to gain access to houses by slipping through keyholes, in cracked doors, or under windowsills. Once they gain access to the house, they drink the blood of their victims, and although they will drink the blood of any human, they prefer to drink the blood of children and infants. When the ads drinks blood, it simultaneously spreads disease to its victim, often leading to sickness or death. While in its bug form, nothing can stop the ads. They are impossible to harm and they are impossible to kill and there is no known repellent to keep them out of houses. However, once they gain access to a house, they can sometimes be placated with offerings of coconut milk or palm oil or both. Despite this, the ads aren't hard, but not impossible to kill. They are very hard creatures to capture because of their speed and size, but if someone is able to capture an ads, then they will immediately revert back to their hunched humanoid form, and once in this form, they can be killed by anything that would kill any old regular human. But it should be noted that once they are back in their humanoid form, they can be even more dangerous. They have talons that they can and will use to eat the hearts and livers of their victims if they are not killed swiftly. In addition to this, they might decide to just bewitch you or possess you instead. Once an ads possesses you, they use you like a medium while also poisoning your mind, and you will eventually become sick and die. And like with most lore and legends, women always seem to get the crap end of the deal. And while they enjoy feeding from children the most, they enjoy possessing women the most. Once someone is possessed by an ads, they are viewed as witches. The best way to deal with an ads attack is to set up a trap by offering the bug form either coconut milk, palm oil, or both, capturing it while it feeds, and then immediately killing it and when it reverts back to its humanoid form. Any other action is probably not going to end very well. 
now before i wrap up this whole video i just want to say i know that this illustration looks a whole lot like my moth illustration that was not on purpose <laughs> It wasn't until I was like halfway done with this that I looked at it and I was like, he looks a lot like somebody, but who is it? And then I was like, the moth man, that's who he looks like. And then I like actually looked at them and I was like, wow, he looks a lot like the moth man, like very, very similar right down to bugs being on the pages and antenna coming out of his head. So my bad on that one, that was not on purpose. And I'll try not to do the same face next time. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for creatures or any folklores or legends that you want me to do next, I am open to those. But anyways, this print is available in my Etsy shop right now, as is most of my art. And the description, the description, the link is always in the description. Okay, bye.